my camera sucks so my video sucks but this is your uh, last um, week of Miguel Cabrera and all games are at home starting tonight they didn't play yesterday they were on the road in Oakland on Sunday so started tonight uh, three game series against Kansas City I think and then Friday Saturday Sunday at home against um, Cleveland and me, Frank, Kathy, and Caden are going to the last game on Sunday, 3 o'clock. But this is what we see every before every game. And I'm just going to uh, let you check it out because I know you got some serious tiger blood going on in your system there, Z-Man. So this is for you. That was Torkelson. Rodgers, our catcher. Dude, we got some exciting players, man. So many good young players. Alright, we're going to keep it here for a minute. Because we got Gibby coming. He doesn't do many games anymore because of his Parkinson. But he was in L.A. And uh, he's probably going to try and be doing the broadcast this whole week I imagine want to be part of this Miguel thing I'd like to formally introduce Jeff Greenberg the 20th general manager of the Detroit Tigers history. oh yeah we got a new general manager he was general manager of the Blackhawks for here and the history of this great organization and he will get this week to watch Miguel Cabrera, one of the greatest players to ever wear the Old English Day, D rather, finish up his homestand as a Tiger and as a major leaguer. Here on Valley Sports, and as always presented by Tiger Law. Today, the Tigers take on the Royals in game one of a three-game series with Simo I'm sure. Ah, oh, it's not Kirk Gibson. What the fuck? Do you think? Well, I really feel like this is the perfect time. It's the end of the season. Gibby will probably be doing a lot the weekend. He's done his homework and he gets a chance to evaluate them. There are some big decisions that have to be made around this Tiger team going into the offseason. Why not hire a GM to be able to facilitate and help in those big decisions that the Tigers are going to have to make? He's excited to be here. He's excited to watch Miguel Cabrera, who is back in the number five spot for the Tigers here tonight. And it's going to be an emotional week for him. I mean, it really is. It's already started for Miguel Cabrera. I had the pleasure of walking down to the tunnel with him today, and he talked about this being the last weekend. How oh, the big fella starting to get a little sad there because what are you going to do when it's all on over? So we say, Gracias, amigo, for everything that you've done for us, for for my for my career, obviously getting an opportunity to talk about it, talk about the 500 home runs. We were on that call. How about that, partner? We were also on the 3,000 call. You got you to be fired up with that one as well. So I've had a great time watching Mickey playing against it. Let's just hope this is a great weekend. You do know who that is, eh, Z? He was in a great mood. Part of the 2006 World Series team. For good reason, Reese Wilson, who gets the start here against the Royals. Remember them 7th, 8th, 9th hitters we had? Oh, dude, this guy, Reese Olsen, has been incredible, man. Yeah, Kansas City, I think, swept Houston over the weekend. This dude came out of nowhere, man. There was never, his name was never mentioned in hype, like, you know, the young superstar, wait, can't wait for this guy to come up. He just came up and pitched and has been wowing us um, every time he pitches, man. Just can't get enough of Maggie. There's a little something sweet bonus for you, Z Man, if if you thought if you 
appreciate it or you dug watching it and hopefully not just something stupid that wasted your time but <clears throat> I know at least you'll know I tried alright buddy love you love you Mrs. Zarn see you guys <laughs>